Our emotional intelligence is, in fact, the cutting edge of human intelligence. But it is something that goes on in the human brain. It's not something magical that's off to the side. In fact, it's the most complicated, impressive thing we do. Being funny, getting the joke, expressing a loving sentiment. Those are very complex, intelligent behaviors. And that's something we're going to also learn about as we reverse engineer the human brain. And one of the key points and, and arguments I make in Singularity is Near, in chapter four actually, is that we will complete the reverse engineering of the human brain within 20 years. That includes our emotional intelligence. And we're already beginning to have some good insights about how the mirror neurons work, the spindle cells, and some of the other aspects of our brain that are responsible for our emotional intelligence. We can actually see, there's actually now a unified theory of the neocortex that's uh, pretty interesting, explaining uh, how that works. There's a little pattern recognizer in the neocortex that recognizes patterns. And it's repeated a billion times, and it's organized in these hierarchies. And that same pattern recognizer, it's the same kind of module, uh, recognizes, let's say, something as simple as the crossbar and a capital A on the one hand, or irony between a, you know, a, a, two situations. Uh, on the other hand, it's the same uh, pattern recognizer. And so that's really what we do well, is recognize patterns. And we, we're, we're gaining some insight now from this reverse engineering of the human brain as to how it works. And the point of reverse engineering the human brain is not just to sort of simulate it in a me mechanistic manner, but to actually understand the basic principles of how it works and then we can engineer and amplify and focus on those principles. Consider, for example, Bernoulli's principle. That's a subtle scientific principle that says if you have a moving curved surface, there's less air pressure than under a flat moving surface. So the scientists are still uh, arguing about why that's true. But engineering technology came in and focused and amplified that, that very simple scientific principle and created the whole world of aviation. So that's what we're going to do with, uh, with reverse engineering of the human brain. We're going to understand these basic principles about how it works. And then we can create systems that really amplify it, that run on a substrate that's a million times faster than the chemical messaging in our brains, that isn't, doesn't have to be limited uh, into a one square foot uh, cranium, and so forth. Uh, but it, in my view, it's not going to be this alien invasion of intelligent machines to compete with us. And, and wipe us out. We're going to merge with these technologies.